My name is Zana. I'm 22 and I come from northern part of Syria. After arriving to the immigration office, you basically have to queue. I would actually suggest to the asylum seekers that they don't arrive at the weekend because unfortunately there will be no place for them to, you know, sleep or stay over. Uh, they will be mostly spending their nights in the street. There are three steps when you ask asylum. So the first one is basic info, like your name, where do you come from, what language do you speak? And here I will like strongly suggest that people say their mother tongue. Then you have uh, taking your fingerprints on a system called Eurodac so that you know they can uh, check if you have been in a different country or not. The third uh, step is the doctor checks, which is actually, uh, you know, asking about, uh, you know, medical issues and etc. And also, you know, asking about vaccinations that you have done already. And then they give you a paper and send you to a center. Most of the times they ask if you have family members in Belgium uh, in order to send you close to there. But it is always not the case because most of the times the centers are full, so they try to kind of find place. At the immigration office, in the uh, you know first interview, it was important to not lie about the first European country or the other European countries that you have been, because uh, as I said in the third step, they do take your fingerprints, and if you have been in a different country, they do see it. So we talked uh, about all the details and why did we pass from that country and why we are in Belgium and etc. I would say that it is really important uh, to keep it short because if you don't keep it short, they would keep it short, they would make it really short. It is important to tell as much as the important things.